Hi, this is Pat Love from Love Healing Hearts. Back home <clears throat> from the hospital again. I know you guys are wondering what's happening. So I figured I would let you know. Sorry, I just didn't have the energy to do this before. But I want to let you know that I ended up having a fever. And I waited it I waited through the weekend. And I didn't even have the energy to try to go to church. And I couldn't figure out why I was feeling so lethargic. Because I was climbing stairs and doing all kind of exercises. Feeling like Superwoman, right? That was Thursday. Yeah, right. <clears throat> anyway, I started diving about the evening of Friday. And it got worse and worse. To the point where I was starting to get winded again. And I didn't know, well, what the heck is going on? Why would I be running a temperature? And I said, I must have picked up a bug. Well, let me tell you what I had done. My left lung had picked up an extra, <clears throat> excuse me, an extra 12 to 13 ounces of fluid. On top of that, I was running a temperature. That totally sapped my strength. On top of that, my heart went into AFib, and <clears throat> it started, it was beating all the way up to 170. And when I called the paramedics and had them check me, just in case I was being a little too quick to, to move this time, he said, the main reason I think you should go in is because your heart is beating at 170. I said, are you serious? He said, didn't you feel a little shaky, a little? And I said, kind of that weird feeling like if you borderline too much uh, caffeine, that's why I drink decaf. So I knew that wasn't the case. So anyway, I went in. They signed me in. <clears throat> they admitted me. And they were basically uh, doing another procedure of going in my left lung and draining, only this time, Instead of a little, uh, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Test, a little test tube inch. I ended up with uh, what looked like a cup and a half or two cups of fluid. So anyway, it was somewhere between that. Yeah. And, uh, and that was a painful, that was a painful, I hope I never have to have my lungs uh, <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm tired, y'all. I hope I never have to have my lungs drained again. That is a painful procedure. I'm good at, at, at <clears throat> dealing with pain, but that pain, I was a little wimp. So anyway, God worked all things out because even though I didn't go to the same hospital, they wouldn't allow it. All the hospitals were over. I mean, they were just spilling over with, with emergencies. So I wasn't allowed to go back to the first one. So I ended up in a dungeon. But what God did, because he made sure, I'm being funny, is in comparison to where I was the first time. What God did was make sure he had certain doctors work with me. I've always prayed God would always pick the staff. If I was you know, in an emergency, he would pick the staff. That would work on me. Hand pick them. Well, he ended up picking one of the doctors that had worked on me at the other hospital. So he knew exactly what the case was. He was able to pull it up and, and calm everybody down and let them know what was up, what the problem was just recently. And they were able to come up with a more accurate treatment dealing with these new symptoms. So now I'm on a medication that really slows the heart down. And they've got it down to between 70 and 85 right in there. And that feels a lot better trying to breathe through that than 170 beats per minute. Anyway, I'm home, as you see. I'm tired. <laughs> I have to take my meds now. And I just wanted to check in and let you know somewhere... In the next two or three days, I will do some videos. 
Please bear with me. Please be patient with me. If I have not gotten back to you, I am so sorry. But I just didn't have the energy to deal with anything. <clears throat> anyway, God bless you. Know that I'm back and I still need your prayers. I am truly in recovery mode. And I can't do all those exercises, I thought, because I have to give my lungs and my heart a chance to strengthen up and regulate. So please don't run away from me. Don't abandon me in my hour of need. Just know that I'll be back with all fours once the Lord releases me to start doing more and more videos. But for now, there'll be little tidbits and little nuggets, but they won't be the 20 and 30 minute videos. God bless you guys, okay? Love you and thank you, thank you, thank you. Those of you who have been faithfully praying for me, thank you very much. God bless you.